Right, one of my favourite hobbies is upcycling brass items and making other items out of them. And today I've got a vast selection here of the things I collect at car boot sales and recycling centres or wherever I can get um, brass bits. And I'll be using these to make other items over the weeks. A little while ago I showed how to make this oil lamp out of a doorknob and I've got another doorknob there which I'm going to make an identical one if I can and that'll make a nice little pair. I've shown how to make these oilers in the past for gun oiling or um, even a perfume bottle if you want one like that. They're dead easy to make. I've also shown how to make um, these boxes. This one's got a deer on the top here, a coin inset in the top and it's a screw top lid made out of plumbing parts so you don't even have to do the threading and a little while ago I think I showed how to make this little magnifying glass when I go around car boot sales or whatever I search out for old binoculars even the cheap ones and get out all the um, lenses and save them for making magnifying glasses this one's dead easy to make it's made out of a nut bored out drop the magnifying glass in there and push a piece of nylon in which is turned to fit exactly and then face off and I just screwed this piece in the side there so they're dead easy to make as well. In this selection of items I have solid brass um, draw knobs or draw handles they're great things to collect all the different shapes. I look for different shapes in things. Um, parts of candlesticks. Um, this is from a, an old fire poker. And um, someone's made this one out of an old bullet here. This is a bottle opener. I didn't make that one there. I found that in the car boot sale. But it's great actually to search out for metal items like this whenever you go to car boot sales or whatever and it saves so much time um, not having to machine uh, parts up from scratch plus it also saves lots of money on material so today i'm going to be using this piece here which is an old brass pestle from a pestle and mortar kit one end is fairly damaged and i haven't got the mortar so i thought i'd change this into something else it's got really nice shapes on it, just like a handle. So what I'm going to do is turn this into a fishing priest. So now I'll go out into the workshop and show you exactly how I'm going to do this on the Chinese mini lathe. So I've put the pesto up in the Chinese mini lathe and I've tapped it until I get it running as true as possible. You've got to remember that this piece is a cast piece of brass so um, it won't look like it's running very true. But I think that's the best I'll get at. And the first thing I need to do is put a centre drill hole in. Like that. And now I can put a centre in the back there and hold it safely without it moving. And now I can turn this end down here to a die cut thread.
and I've turned that down to eight millimeter. And now just a bit of a chamfer on the front here with a file. So that's the front end nearly finished. Well, the front end is finished. All I have to do now is use this piece here, which is gonna screw onto the front end and drill and tap that one for the eight millimeter. So I've drilled and tapped that one for eight millimeter now and put a nice big or nice deep chamfer in that one so it goes down right to the shoulder and that one can screw on the end and tighten up and now I've got a spigot end to go on this um, back end here which I've made up just a little um, spigot there with a six millimeter thread in it and a hole right the way through for the lanyard and this one's going to go on there so now i need to put the priest back up in the jaws and i can put it right up inside the jaws so it holds on this diameter here and that will make it run dead true and then i can center drill drill and tap for six millimeter And that end is finished. So this is the finished priest. I have an eight millimeter thread on this end here and a six millimeter thread in this end here. In the back end, I screw a grub screw. I would actually put them in with Loctite 638, tighten that one up. And then I've made the spigot there so that it's slightly um, domed in the center there. So that when it screws on the back face, the outer edge will hit the um, radius. So tighten that one down and put an Allen key in that one and tighten it up. And then the front end here has the eight millimeter thread in there. And that one 
screws down to the shoulder nice and tight. I'll put that on with Loctite 638 when I've completely finished. And you can see there that I've put decorative grooves on the back end here and on the front end to blend it in. And that makes a really nice fishing priest. And then I can simply put a piece of lanyard through the back end there and tie a knot. This is paracord, which I always use on my um, tools or whatever. Even that up and tighten that one up. And then I've got a lovely item and it still looks vintage.